Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this beautiful dimensional blonde from Jet Black Hair. We're going to DIY a full head of baby lights and if you're interested in learning how you can do this yourself also, just keep watching. This is the hair that I started out with. As you can see, I've got previously baby lighted hair, also DIY, but the roots are pretty grown out. I started by mixing together one part of Blonde Me with two part of 25 volume developer. I also added some Olaplex. I then sectioned my hair off and started baby lighting section by section. I made sure to weave in plenty of baby lights close to my neckline so that when I put my hair up, I would have lightness underneath also. I set up a little mirror to be able to see the back of my head and this is crucial. I like to highlight from the bottom up and it's important to work in small sections and weaving very fine and even baby lights. It took me a while to do all the foils, so by the time I got to my front sections, my back was already done processing. So I took the foils out and sprayed water to neutralize the bleach and stopped it from over processing. For the front sections, I like to use a higher volume developer and do more back-to-back -back foils to ensure that we have a bright money piece. As I continue to section, weave, and foil, I like to periodically check on the existing foils to make sure that they're processing as expected. And as we can see here, the foils are not as light as we want them to be, so I'm saturating these pieces in more product and foil them back up. If you ever get bleach on where it's not supposed to be, don't panic, just simply wipe it off. Again, here I am just checking all the sections to see how they're processing. Our desired result is a level 10 bright blonde. If they are done processing, I would take the foil out and spray water to neutralize the bleach. If they are not done yet, I would add more product and foil them back up. The total time I'm leaving the bleach on my hair is around 40 minutes to an hour. As you can see, when I was foiling these front pieces, I made sure to work in very small sections and weaved in plenty of baby lights to create bright face framing pieces. Now because we only baby lighted the roots and not the previously highlighted sections, our mid length is a bit darker than our roots and ends. In this case, I just took my balayage board and painted additional bleach on the sections that I wanted to make a bit brighter. Then I checked the brightest face framing pieces and it looked like they were done processing. So I went ahead and sprayed water on them to neutralize the product and stopped it from over processing. The balayage board can also come in handy in this scenario to stop myself from spraying water right in my eyes. I then went back to check on the sections on my left side where we added more products and now they have lifted to a level 9 to 10 blonde so I went ahead and took off the foils. Similar to the right side, we now see some mid sections darker than the roots and ends so I used the balayage board to highlight those sections. I then let it process for about 20 minutes and I went ahead and rinsed my hair out using Olaplex number 2. I simply towel dried it. The baby lights already looked pretty good, but I want to make sure that I didn't accidentally leave any sections out and there were no chunky highlights or bleed marks. 
I check my hair section by section and this is important because I like to part my hair in different ways and I sometimes wear my hair half up and half down and I want to make sure that whichever way I part my hair, I'm going to see an evenly baby lighted surface. And now it's time to shadow root and tone my hair. I actually use a purple conditioner as my toner because I tend to overtone my hair otherwise using actual toners and they just smell bad. Um, for the shadow root, I use an iron permanent color 3 in mixed with a 10 volume developer. To tone and to shadow root, I like to work from the bottom of my head all the way up. I start with the very bottom section of my hair place a sheet of foil over my balayage board and place the root shadow right on the root of my hair and drag it down for around half an inch to an inch and paint the rest of the hair with purple conditioner. I like to really blend the shadow root and the purple conditioner together to achieve a really natural and blended look. Your newly highlighted hair is going to want to grab on whatever color you throw at it, so the conditioner also protects your shadow root from accidentally getting on other parts of your hair. I then lay the next section of hair right on top of the bottom section and similarly brush on the shadow root and the purple conditioner and blend these two together. Once I was done with my whole head, I then brushed the root section of my hair using a wow comb to further blend down the shadow root to achieve a really natural look. I didn't want to brush all the way to the end to protect the ends from accidentally getting contaminated with the root shadow. I left the product on for about 10 minutes. I then rinsed out my hair again and towel dried it and brushed it out. I then did a section by section check again to make sure that I'm happy with the look. Here I actually spotted a specific section where the highlight was a bit too chunky for my liking, so I weaved in some lowlights to break it up using the Rue Shadow Mixture. I then continued with my check and everything else looked good. I rinsed my hair out one last time and towel dried it. I didn't want to stress my hair out with blow drying right after bleaching, so I simply wrapped my hair around my bathrobe rope so that I don't wake up with crazy hair the next day, and then I just went to sleep with the whole head of wet hair. This whole process has taken a few hours and my arms were as ready to go to sleep as I was. And here is the result the next day. I simply took my hair out of the bathroom rope and it was already curled overnight. I just put in a few accent curl pieces and the hair was styled in under a minute. And look at the result. We have achieved a beautiful dimensional blended blonde look from a level 1 brunette hair. My hair feels so soft and healthy and there is no breakage whatsoever. Now because we used the baby light technique, each section that you look at is highlighted and blended with my natural hair color. So even if I part my hair a hundred different ways, you're going to see a beautiful and blended hairline.
And here you have it. Doing blonde baby lights on yourself at home is definitely doable. And feel free to give it a try and let me know how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching.